What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure and welcome to the next video. In today's video, it's, it's kind of a special one because we are here with Jennifer and Jason of No Sticks, No Bricks. That's right. And uh, I'm gonna turn it over to them, let them introduce themselves and tell us about your rig. All right, so I'm Jason. And I'm Jennifer. And um, we are living and traveling full time in our 2021 uh, Grand Design Momentum 397. So very similar to their rig, uh, just a different model. Yeah. Um, we tow our motorcycle around, which is one of the big reasons why we have the toy hauler. Uh, and uh, we absolutely love it. And We've been doing it since May. And where are you guys from? We are from Alaska. Yeah. Yes. Which uh, we usually get a lot of looks on that one. <laughs> <laughs> originally we're not, we're both retired Air Force. Um, I'm originally from Iowa, she's from Maine, uh, but we met in Alaska and that's where we retired out of. So that's what awesome. we claim very, as home. Very that's what cool. we call home. Yeah. Yes. So how long have you been full-timing now? So we started May 27th. May 27th. Mm -hmm. Any uh, any regrets? None. None. Not, not at all. Not at all. No. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. That's what my answer is too. Like, yeah. Yeah. Not at all. No. no. So before before we get, get inside and start doing the tour, let me ask you this. What's mm -hmm. your favorite location that you've visited so far? Oh boy. And I, I sprung this on them. I didn't tell them before. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, probably Crooked River. It's Crooked River mm. State Park in Georgia was really nice. It was pretty. That's where we stayed at as far as the RV park, but actually the beautiful, most beautiful location that we went and visited is probably Cumberland Island, Island, Georgia. Yeah. And we actually took the e-bikes over to Cumberland Island. And, um, Which you have a video on, right? We do. We have a video yes. on it. We loaded them on a ferry, took the boat over to the island. Oh, the island nice. is a, actually a national park and it's completely wild. So there's wild horses, there's wild pigs, there's pigs, wild all kinds of animals. Everything, yeah. So it was so, beautiful. It was yeah. very neat. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. All right. Well, we're going to put some links below. Uh, make sure you check out their channel as well. And let's get inside and check out their rig. Come on in. Welcome to our humble abode. All right, so here's the master bedroom. We uh, opted to get the queen size bed because we just wanted a little bit more room when it came to making the bed and stuff like that. Whether we have a king or queen, the dogs take up 90% of the bed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We have our master closet. My wife's favorite part, laundry. <laughs> Always. <laughs> okay, what is... What is that? <laughs> so, like I said, I'm from Iowa. Jennifer's from Maine, so she is a Patriots fan, and I am a miserable Vikings fan. All right. House divided. <laughs> and one thing we did do is this tray here is from Ikea. It's just a crafting tray, but it fits perfectly in that spot for my cell phone, iPad, and my books and stuff, so. Nice, just making a little extra storage. Yeah, just make a little extra storage. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, everything, yes. Yeah. strips everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we love so we did opt for the WineGuard uh, Wi-Fi system. So basically this has a Verizon um, SIM card in it and it projects Wi-Fi throughout the entire uh, RV. But it also, what it'll do is you can connect to campground Wi-Fi or any kind of open Wi-Fi, jump on their network, and then it'll also project it throughout the, the, the uh, RV. So it works pretty good. So if you've been following our channel, uh, you know, we installed one of these as well. And I don't know if you had the same problem, but when I installed it, there was like a cap there. Mm -hmm. You pulled the wire down and the wire was a loop to the fan in the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> so when I clipped it, guess what? <laughs> I tripped that breaker. Yeah, I may or little, may not have tripped a breaker when I was doing mine too. <laughs> a little fuse, but yeah, these, these are really nice. <laughs> So I have a shoe problem. <laughs> so we bought this over the door shoe thing from Walmart, I believe, and it fits kind of some of the shoes I don't wear every day, but I can't get rid of yet. And then we just do the 3M strips at the top so it doesn't scratch the, the top of the door. Um, and one thing I do not like though about this RV, the only thing probably is this door just doesn't stay open. No magnets, so you just get your fancy dancy. Yeah, I've shopper. seen some people put magnets down there, but they routed the, the plumbing for the washer and dryer actually routed right Ooh, there. Yeah. And yeah. that's why it sticks out. So this is the bathroom. Um, we did get uh, the nice shower head. 
it's wonderful. Um, love it. It does use a lot of water, so that's probably the downfall. But you just got to learn to do combat showers. Being in the military, we call that 3M in the in the shower stalls for all of our stuff because I don't like stuff sitting on the floor. Um, and then this cabinet also is one of those big open space cabinets, and my husband Jason found this rack. It's adjustable. So it kind of makes you have some shelves. So this is kind of would keep the stuff for the dogs and just extra supplies. And then it also has some decent storage underneath. So, you know, all the good stuff. We're not hoarding toilet paper, I promise you. But our daughter's coming yeah. to visit, so four adults. Gonna need more TP. Do you like the shower? I like it. It's good. I like the rain part of it. So that does use more water. So sometimes, like right where we're at now, we don't have... Um, we're not on full hookups, but it's not a problem. Just kind of quick showers, but um, it, I like the handle comes off, especially for cleaning the shower, and so you can take it off and spray it down. And then um, if you watch Changing Rains, Chad and Tara, my hair goes everywhere, and we do have the mushroom there. So it does get a majority of my hair in that instead of going into the, the gray tank. And then we do normally keep one in the sink, but um, it's soaking right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I like? What do you like? I like being able to have the dog stuff hanging at the door. Yes. We don't have that. And and this is pretty cool too. Uh huh. We, we, only have we like, just don't have that wall. Ours is like this big. <laughs> <There's> this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> big difference. I have my wall is literally this. I, I'm also noticing that you your um, one, control? one control is actually out here. Yeah, ours is in the cabinet. Versus being in a cabinet. We actually yeah. used our cabinet for the spare keys i don't know if you guys have something like similar to that or all right so this is the kitchen this is probably one of my favorite spots i love to cook probably spend a lot of time here um so in this kitchen they do have the the covers they're pretty heavy um but they they fit don't mind obviously our son ate today so nice dirty dishes um then we have a little collapsible dish pan that we use so when we are trying to conserve water we don't we just kind of reuse it pro tip don't leave these on during travel day yes we actually had one of these even though they're really heavy fly off smash right into this cabinet oh, that's what did that big nick right there so yes. now they get stored they get stored day. well what we do is all the dog food dishes their water dishes and everything so we have little dogs they all fit right in here so um Obviously there's storage above. This is kind of all my not my baking stuff that I don't use all the time, but I'm eventually gonna need to use it. Um, you gotta be a little bit tall to get that. So, oops. Microwave um, and the oven, it is, you know, like probably most RVers, it's also storage. You can fit about a 20, 25 pound turkey in there. So, which it's is good. Oven, yeah. It's residential. This is something that we didn't realize probably for like three months at least yeah. at least three months until one day my husband was cleaning and he just pulled pulled this out and this is storage as well for your baking sheets and I actually forgot that this sheet was in here so <laughs> um, another you know thing with the storage here so kind of all our cutting boards the tray that goes inside the the microwave you know because it's got that little tray that goes across it always gets in my way right, so we just a couple, couple right. right so i just stick it in here <laughs> and then these are all my most common spices that i like to use kind of just right here cool. on this side obviously there's more storage just your typical silverware um we started to try to organize a little bit more because things tend to get lost or the boys don't know where things go Whoa. after drying dishes so <laughs> kind of helped create that. And then I keep all my knives down here. This has probably moved, what, three or four times now? Yes. Just can't quite find the perfect place for it. What is this? Oh, so these are little detectors that are supposed to help keep rodents and bugs away. They put on a sonic sound wave. A sonic something. sound wave, so we have- They do not work with stink bugs. Yeah. I'll tell you that. So we just <laughs> have one and we've never had ants or rodents yet, so. Mm -hmm knock on any, any, wood that you can see. any, any yeah. real wood that we can find um and then of course just underneath and again probably like most people just lots of baskets for storage so things don't fall off uh we bought this tr this double tray i'm not a big fan of it i gotta figure out how to make it work but it just kind of keeps all your extra stuff we did change up the where the waste pair basket 
goes. It used to go right here. Right. It came with the rig. The one that came with the rig actually went underneath there, but we moved it over here, bought a different one. That way we could use that for storage space. Because it was just one, it was always open. Yeah. Sometimes that's stinky. Mm -hmm. And so then we just bought one over here that kind of fits perfect. And you don't have to move it for travel days. Right, it just stays there. It just stays there. Because when your slabs come in, it might yep. work. Mm -hmm. and, um, with this model, we do have access to our bathroom and half the fridge on travel days with the slide out, slides in, so that's nice. Can y'all have a propane fridge? We do, yep, yeah, it's an RV fridge. So propane or electric. Food pantry, it's a decent size. Um, lots of, lots of room. Oops, there's a light, which I didn't know about until our son found it. <laughs> so, but yeah, that definitely helps be able to see. It does. What's in there. It's a little disorganized right now, but, and then there's a shelf way up there, Jason. That, that's what he has to do. And that's <laughs> extra coffee, our Instapot cooler. These are all of our cabinets. Thanks. I know. Very we don't really have a lot of glass because we're love, pretty klutzy. I love how deep those cabinets are. They do go very far back. Um, and like this is kind of like the most common stuff are kind of on these shelves. And then the only thing there, I like I said, the empty space. You have the cabinet on the other side of the wall in the bathroom. Right, right and right. that's why this comes out that yeah, far, so. so. Yeah. All right, so this space here is not very deep. It's very, very thin. But we did find something that we can use it for that works pretty good, and that is paper towels. <laughs> paper towels fit up there perfectly. So when we go buy bulk paper towels, that's, awesome. that's where they go. Paper and towels then, for days. Yeah. yeah. And uh, just kill all them stink bugs. <laughs> and then, of course, our cups and stuff like that are here. And then we got our big TV and um, our fireplace. So here's another pro tip. These never move on travel day. And this is basically like the glue on the back of a credit card, like that rubbery glue stuff. So it won't damage any structure that you put it on, but it keeps things in place. And it's awesome. We've got it on this too. So just less things that we have to move on travel day, and they just stay. We found this shell on Camp Cumberland Island when we did the e-bike ride. And then of course the Thomas Paine uh, theater chairs. Heated massage. Heated massage, definitely love that feature. And the, the fireplace actually kicks out pretty good heat as well. Um, we were in Georgia and it was 32 degrees right at freezing. And um, we opted to get the heat pump for this rig, so between the heat pump and the fireplace, I kept the whole RV warm. And that's in the AC that's currently right above us, right? That's correct. In it's the in the middle room. AC. It's only like a $250 option and well worth it. And then we also got the dual pane windows. All right, so for our, our rig, it's very similar. We have the same AC, uh, also a heat pump, and it's actually incredibly quiet. I don't know if you guys have been able to hear it in the video, but the ACs have been running in almost every room. Mm -hmm. See my hair blowing in the wind, blowing locks, flowing. But anyways, I mean it's it's really cool in here, and we're only on 30 amp, and right. we'll talk about why it's so cool in here in a little while. He likes to rub it in, but <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's actually really quiet systems. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So one thing that um, love the couch, but these trays, um, we've looked at some different options because they kind of slope and things fall off them, um, and so we're looking at doing something different. Probably gonna get rid of them and we found some on Amazon that'll fit into the cup hold the cup holder. They actually have lips, lips. on them. To keep it was on the grand design on. page, so because I knock my glasses off here about five to ten times a day, if not more. <laughs> Very cool. All right, then we have the bunk, and basically that's just storage, all storage up there. Um, my mom was nice enough to sew this little. Uh, curtain. curtain rod that we got for it just to kind of cover it up make it look nice but nothing but storage up there security camera We've got three different security cameras in here uh, this is simply safe our security system is all simply safe and then we've got a ring doorbell and then a ring uh, security camera as well the only carpet in the whole rig is right here and in our closet in yes. the master bedroom now with the 2022s no carpet they got rid of them so the 20, the 397, the new ones don't have any carpet. Because ours doesn't have carpet. I was really, I mean, uh, I was really surprised to see it. Yeah. It sounds like you need to go buy a new rig. I mean, just to <laughs> get rid of the carpet. Show coming up. I mean, <laughs> you can't have carpet, obviously, because, you know, when you have little dogs, <laughs> this is what happens right there. Yeah. All right, so this being a toy hauler, 
What uh, what size garage do you have? We have a 12 foot garage. 12 foot garage, all right. Yeah, all right. All right so. so here's the garage. This is where the Harley rides on travel days. And also it is currently our son's bedroom because he's with us um, until he leaves for the Coast Guard in January. So he just graduated high school last year and he's been traveling with us since May. Um, but he's getting ready to take off to basic training here in about a month or so. So uh, we'll have the, we'll actually have the whole garage to ourselves after that. So it's going to be kind of nice to uh, pretty much double our space once, he's, once he leaves. Uh, of course, we're going to miss him. He's our boy. So, <laughs> but it does have the Happy Jack system, which works out pretty good. And we do have the three seasons doors as well. So these will open up into the patio. And then they also will open so we can load the motorcycle. And then Harold and Cindy gave us this great idea, and that was to add this curtain rod back here. So gives us a, gives Lane and our son a little bit more privacy. Um, so we can cover this whole back patio windows with the curtains. And then we did more 3M stuff, more organization. In fact, those shelves right there were from watching one of your guys' videos. <laughs> the black corner shells. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this was, we ordered those before we even left Alaska, like before we even uh, picked this rig up because we were watching one of your guys' videos and saw those shells. Like, hey, I need those. And we were like, ooh, I like those. I, it's so funny how that happens. I do that all the time. I read a video, I watch, I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Put yeah. on the Amazon list. <laughs> right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. And then so. there is another TV in here. Yeah, do have a little bit of storage. This is where I keep all the oils and sprays and stuff like that. Like a typical garage. This also was a recommendation on the Grand Design page. Somebody saw one and uh, you kind of put it together. We did kind of glue it more together to keep it sturdy, but it fits the shoe so we can kind of go in and out the store. Very cool. Yeah, try to limit our traffic to going in and out of the store as much as we can because it's just easier to clean back here than it is on the white floors. Yeah. yeah. And then, like we said, we love the 3M hooks. We have all <laughs> our stuff. Okay, you mounted the ladder. Yep. Ladders so underneath. Both mat, uh, both ladders are mounted uh, to the top, underneath the top bed with these uh, little fist clamps. Somebody had also put that on the Grand Design Facebook page. So we learn a learn a lot from that page and <laughs> take a lot of those ideas that people put on there and implement them. So we appreciate it. I'm also noticing that you did insulation like foam insulation all the way across we the did. top right here. Yeah, I, I still need to clean that up a little bit. It looks kind of yeah, but right it's now, but there's it huge gaps. Works. There is. There's massive gaps, and not only was it allowing hot air to get in, it was also allowing bugs. We were getting a lot of mosquitoes and bugs back here. So once I spray foam that, that pretty much helped that out. All right. So probably one of our favorite upgrades that we've done is uh, adding our solar system and our inverter. So we have. Uh, we did get the, the factory solar system, so it came with a one 300 watt solar panel. Uh, we added two more, so we have a total of 900 watts of solar. But then we replaced the Magnum inverter that came with the rig with the Victron Multi Plus 2 inverter. And that thing is awesome. Um, one of the things it does is while you're hooked up to 30 amp, which we are right now, it will um, assist. So it'll draw power from your batteries to give you a 50 amp service. So we're able to run all three air conditioners on 30 amp service, which is pretty nice. And then it also is a converter, so it charges your batteries. So we don't even use the converter that came with the rig anymore. We just unplugged it. And um, yeah, it's it's about a $1,500 inverter and it's, it's well worth it. And you have lithium. And we have four lithium Battleborn batteries. Yeah, just four. We'd like to add some, but you know, they're not the cheapest things in the world. So. <laughs> Maybe a little bit here, a little bit there. <laughs> and, and in addition to that, you have the Onan generator, correct? Right, yeah. We did get the uh, 5,500 watt generator that came with the rig. Um, that was one of the options that we selected. So we're so, definitely set up to boondock. We're going to be doing a lot of boondock in this next summer out west. So we're looking forward to that. Yeah. And the axles? Yes, we got the, one of the options we did was the upgraded 8,000 pound axles with disc brakes. And let me tell you, they work really well. This is our second three axle toy hauler. And our um, previous one did not have disc brakes. It had just regular electric brakes and the disc brakes are a night and day difference. We have a 2017 F450 Platinum. 
Yeah, we really like that truck. Beast. Yeah, it's a beast. It tows really well. Yeah. It's got all the bells and whistles. Girl wants to ride it. All yeah. right, we'll yeah. do it. We're, we're going to we're gonna take a ride in okay. the uh, F450 because I, I really like that 450s. Yeah. My, my opinion is the Ford's probably the best looking truck on the market. Yeah. They're, they're pretty slick. Yeah, and the they're... turning radius on the 450, I'll let you drive it. it. That's what you need to do. You need to drive it and see how it turns because it spins around like a sports I'm, car. I'm game. <laughs> yeah. we'll do it. Because the Ram takes seven lanes to make a U turn. <laughs> <laughs> Three states to turn around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Ram's a great truck. It slows down good. It speeds up good. Like everything about yeah. it is awesome, but I hate the turning radius. Right. So, but... We had a Ram 3500 before our F450. Yeah. And we, we loved that truck at the time until we got the 450 and then we're like, wow, this is what we've been missing. <laughs> he always says that if we have to get a new truck, it'll rather be a F450 or the Ram 5500. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, that about does it uh, for today's video. We have thoroughly enjoyed getting to tour your 2021 Grand Design Momentum 397. It is a beautiful rig and you guys have a beautiful home. Thank you. And of course it's a grand design. So, I mean, it is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but, but great, that- Great rig, great, yeah, great, great brand. Yeah. Well, that does it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. Ring the bell so you can notify when we release our next video. And until the next strange adventure. Keep, keep making your own. own.